Hello all, today I'm going to show you how to record a video, uh, voiceover for your final videos using a condenser microphone and a program such as Audacity. So to give a bit of a background before we start, a condenser microphone is a microphone that's made out of metal and is commonly used by broadcasters, YouTubers and content creators due to its high audio quality. So in terms of high audio quality, we mean compression to the point where that anything in the background is totally silenced. So to get started, uh, what I'll do is, I'll to give you a bit of an example of what I mean by audio. But, so as you can see, we're on my webcam micro, we're on the USB microphone now. And as I swap it to the webcam microphone, you can tell there's a bit of a difference. So usually for webcam microphone, it like depending on which model you get the noise cancelling might not be as great so with our microphone so we've got our, on our webcam now versus the microphone our microphone is the clear winner so if you're going to be doing any professional recording a condenser microphone is the way to go so to get started you need to download the audacity program which i have currently open on the screen now so to do that it is a free program, so I'll post the link on the screen below. So once you have it downloaded and open, what we need to do is the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure our microphone, so you'll be greeted by the screen, which is pretty space, pretty easy to easy to maneuver, easy to get around and self-explanatory. So first things first, we need to make sure all of our or playback and recording sources are set. So as you can see, my microphone unfortunately isn't there, so we'll just use the we'll just use uh, the Logitech webcam, so my C922 Pro, which is another good audio recording device, as it's in stereo. And then with this, but being a stereo, you can either do it in mono or stereo, so it's preferably stereo. And then just set our speakers playback source to speakers. And then as you can see on the screen here, we've got, we're greeted by a top toolbar, which contains file, so export, save, you've, so we can save, export it as a selected audio. So if you're doing a, so if you're recording your voiceovers as a group and you want to have it all into one file, you usually select that. However, if you want to do a more linear record, so basically if you're pretty much recording solo all in one hit, it usually you do it as an mp3 so that's just an ex example of how we can export which we'll get into a little bit later so we've got edit select view transport so basically our transport is pretty much down here tracks we can add new tracks if we wanted to so we can incorporate music so this can be used as a full edit music editing program such as such as um, such as the Adobe equivalent, I forgot what it's called. I'll have a look now. So Adobe Audition, I believe it's called. So yeah, so programs such as Audition. So this is a good free alternative to programs such as Audition and GarageBand. So it's always good to have it. So we've got also got generate. You can generate tones such as your DTMF, chirp tones add effects such as bass and treble and all that sort of stuff you know tools plugins you can install plugins and then you got your help but the main area we want to focus on is this area here which contains our level indicators for both input and output your tools that you're going to be using you see cut your splice your edit undo zoom in so if you want to pinpoint a certain part of your recording you can do so as well as your playback speed and then we've got our play buttons there. So to get started, I will click on record, record. And as you can see, or hear rather, I'm speaking right now. So hello, how are you? Welcome to Dynamic Modeling. And then once we stop record, we can either stop, click on the record. Actually, we can click on stop. And as you can see, we've pretty much got our audio track recorded. So within the main carriage, we can set the record rate, the record gain, 
which will be which will have an effect which will play an effect on the output on the actual output as well as our center balance so we can either pan it to the left or right particularly if you've got a mono mono setup so with that being said what we can do with that we can just play it so each of the carriage so each carriage represents the two channels of audio being a, being a stereo configuration so yeah what we can do now is I will show you how to cut so if you've got any little boo-boos or stutters you want to cut out you can easily do so by just clicking on the carriage and then dragging your cursor across and then cut it's just a simple matter of doing that and clicking cut or and unlike some programs where it will automatically just leave a gap it will automate audacity has the luxury of automatically resplicing it so that being said all we're going to do now is just pretty much cut the splices out might as well do it for the rest this is just a quick example of what I did for my final presentation. So what we'll do is now is just click on now that we've spliced it. So you also another thing is you can sort of just drag that across and then play within a certain certain time frame. So with that you can click on and as you and as you can see, or hear rather, I'm... Whoops, we don't want to do that. Speaking right now, and as you can see, speaking right now, so... And as you can see, or hear rather, I'm speaking right now, so... so hello, how usually are you? in you an audio, audio... audio recording procedure it's mainly just recording the audio and then splicing the things out which is pretty much which is pretty which is pretty simple and self-explanatory so once we've got once we're happy with our audio we can either do it as export it as a whole so or separate so first of all in order to export as a separate piece we just highlight over it and then we click export and select Ex click on export selected audio so Audacity Demo Part 1, yep. And when we export, it will give us the option to add a title track, our artist name, depending on if you're doing, this is perfect if you're working on like a song or something like that, but we're just doing a basic voiceover, so we can cancel it. And once that's done, we can export. So and then the other export option is to export as an MP3, so which will basically export the file as a whole. So we can export that, click OK. Oh, and another thing is if you want to, and this is not necessary, but it's mainly more necessary if you're working in different audio form, audio formats that have higher bit rate. So particularly digital audio, you can actually adjust the bit rate to depending on which system you're working with. So usually with a digital audio setup, particularly Dolby Digital surround sound it'd be within the range of what not of around 96 kilohertz what 96 hertz to about 192 so whereas no regular stereo is just about 48 so we'll keep it as 48 so with that what we can do now is just go out all we need to do now is just go into adobe premiere and export so i'll see you in the next part so we're back in Adobe Premiere, as you can see, and I've got my video ready to cobble up to, to, to edit together. So what we need to do is usually, well, even though it's just a basic audio file, I do recommend putting it through Adobe Encoder just to encode it down to the optimal format, particularly if you're working on a YouTube video. So but however, because this is just a basic demonstration all we've got to do is just splice the audio in just drag the audio in as is so what we'll do is we'll go into our folder and then we can put our track in and then with Adobe Premiere 
we just got to move it down to the audio part here. So, yeah. however, I don't have any pictures at the moment, so it's just going to play the audio. So, usually in the case you can have, like in the case of Adobe Premiere, when you're splicing your audio together, you can have different layers. So one for the, one for your voiceover and another for your um, background music. So what we'll do is we we'll just make sure it plays. And as you can see, or hear rather, I'm speaking right now. So hello, how are you? Welcome to Dynamic Modeling. Yep. And that's how we do an Adobe. That's the basic workflow to Audacity and exporting, importing your audio into Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Just a quick add on to the end of the tutorial. What we need to do is before you export the file, you need to make sure it is saved. So what we need to do is usually if your files, if you're working on a new file that hasn't been saved for the first time, it will come up with a little message. So all you need to do is just pretty much go file, save project, and then click on, and then just type in or select the file you're working with. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.